Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Eric Eats. I'm Eric. And today we're on Walnut Street near the downtown square of Bloomington by Pilly's Party Taco from Puebla. You've probably seen it driving by many times it has been here. It's almost like a taco truck staple of Bloomington. And I do love me some street tacos, so we're gonna go see what Pilly has to offer. Let's check it out. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm doing wonderful today. How about yourself? Good, thank you for that. Well, of course. Uh, I don't suppose you're Pilly. I am Pilis. Welcome oh. to Pilis Party Taco. Well, thank you very much. I love parties and tacos, so I think I've come to the right place. Party in your mouth? Oh, party in my mouth. I love it. Okay, so street tacos is what you're known for. Yes. Uh, as far as that goes, do you have any that are like big sellers or that are your favorites? Or what would you recommend? We had three different kinds of meat. Beef, chicken, pork. And also we, we had the veggie tacos for people who don't eat meat. Okay. So the beef taco, they really, really popular right now is birria, it's something new. And okay. also the steak, Creole beef. But also we had the pork, we had carnitas, pastor, chorizo, Arab meat. So anyone is good for you guys. So like you can get any sort of taco here. This is incredible. Thank um, you. Okay, so I think I'm going to try that new beef one that you'd mentioned. Yes. Uh, Give that one a go. And then do you have like a, a taco al pastor, like we a classic? We have taco al pastor, classic taco al pastor, and it's really good. Okay. With pineapple, spicy sauce, or medium sauce, or guacamole Ooh. sauce. Okay, well, I think I would love to try those too. I will make for you guys. Oh, thank, thank you, you so, so much, much Pilis. I'm so excited about these tacos. Well, now I have these delicious tacos in front of me. Well, I certainly hope they're delicious. I can't speak to it yet, but my goodness, they smell amazing, Pilata. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is the Tacos Al Pastor. Uh-oh, and I've already confused myself. It's the medium, it's the guac. See, it's a good thing she's here. I think the pastor is good with guacamole sauce. Ah, okay. But and some uh, people, they put both sauce or the three sauce. Some people don't eat any sauce. <laughs> you don't like the salsa? No, I don't. Mm. Yeah, I stayed away from the really hot stuff myself. Ooh. Oh yeah, let's kick it out. Mmm. <laughs> Those flavors are incredible. Oh, it's so sweet. And it has a really nice balance to it. Mmm. And those corn tortillas are impeccable, by the way. Yes, I think the tortilla is the, the thing. Salsa tortilla. Mm. The good tacos in so, what inspired you to start a taco truck? My husband, he was living in New York for too many years, and we moved here. We don't see any food trucks. Mm -hmm. Morning, night, you don't see food trucks at night. Sometimes you want to come and go find tacos. So, we're thinking about putting the truck on nice to people who can find tacos. Okay. That one, the beer, yeah. This one? So many things. So the taco in that and this, oh my goodness. Because the beer is not spicy right now, not okay. too spicy, but you want to put a little more spicy, welcome to put the salsa. Mm, okay. Uh, all right, we'll go for the for the dippy dip. Now the messy eat. Oh. <laughs> oh, that beef is so tender. Yes. It's so good. That is incredible too. Mm. Oh my goodness, that's incredible. In Bloomington, we don't find beer. If you want in beer, you need to go to Indianapolis. Yeah, I've never had it before, but that is incredible. All those spices in there, so good. It's like savory and a little sweet, but... Mm. So how long have you been in Bloomington? 
like 50 years. Okay. And yeah. have you had the taco truck for most of that time? No, the taco truck we have had three years. We opened okay. in May 17. And that's a pretty standard spot out there on Walnut. Because yes. I've seen your taco truck many times. I haven't lived here in a while, but I've seen it many times and that seems to be like it's it's spot, you know, <laughs> you you found your niche. Yeah, and I think the people now used to what is the truck on the night they looking for us. Mm -hmm. If we don't open, they start me call me. Where you are? Where you been? <laughs> mm. So we see. Well, I'm. I'm feel so happy. People like the food. This is the payback. For me. But it's incredible. It's. I mean, it tastes. I mean, I'm not from Mexico, but to me, this is so much more authentic and flavorful than anything else you find. This is what we try. Make more authentic. Mm -hmm. So are these some of like your family's recipes? Kind of yes. Yeah. The more things is something I. Like I work in for 20 years in the restaurant. Had a lot of experience. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, and you just recently opened this deli area, right? Yes, we opened this year. Okay. <laughs> Our good timing. Yes, good time. The deli has whatever we use for the truck. This is why I say they complement. If they want something for the truck, or they want something to buy to make tacos in your home, you can find it. Tortillas, cilantro, salsas, chiles, peppers, whatever peppers we use. Anything you need to make your own tacos. Yes. And also okay. if they want the recipe, welcome mm -hmm. to be the little ideas for you. Mm. So besides these amazing tacos, what other specialties do you make in your taco truck? The menu is like one size is the meat, the other size is whatever you want to do with the meat. Mm. Tacos. Gringas, it's like quesadillas, small around. We had tostadas, scrunchy tortilla. We had burritos. We had tortas. We had quesadillas. We had taco salad. We had nachos. So choose you meat and choose how you want. Wow. You know, the more people are tacos. But nachos is really good in the big place we have. You can share it with your friends. Yeah. Absolutely. Quesadillas is the more people Yep, they people eat. do love their quesadillas. Yes. Mm -hmm. Torta is a big sandwich, Mexican bread. Okay. They like a lot. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Maybe next time you try one. Maybe next time I will. It's Absolutely. really big and really good. Well, I will say, for having never been to your taco truck, your food blew me away. Pilata, <laughs> it was so delicious. Um, this particularly, I was so surprised by it. It was amazing and delicious. And I'm so sorry I forget the name. It's consomme, birria consomme. Birria consomme, okay. They go together with the tacos. Gotta lock that one away. <laughs> and it's good that in this moment with the cold water, consomme is really nice. Mm -hmm. Yep, oh, it was perfect. Okay, so we're doing this thing now where uh, you're gonna have 15 seconds to essentially pitch your taco truck to the viewers. So anything special that you want to say or notify people of right now, uh, feel free to go for it. You got 15 seconds. Welcome to Pili's Party Taco. We have a lot of different kinds of meat. It's 11 types of meat you never find in Blomito. Mm. Yeah, maybe soon. And also we have different, we try to do the more. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching another episode of Eric Eats. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed eating these delicious tacos. Uh, and if you have a hankering for some yourself, you should get on down here. It's on a walnut between Kirkwood and 4th Street. You will not be disappointed that you did. They've also recently opened up this deli so you can get a ton of other food here. And if you're interested, Jordan from The Chocolate Moose has a podcast we told you about, No Dishes Bloomington. He interviewed Pilata a couple days ago, and you can go on to anywhere you listen to podcasts and listen to that as well. Highly recommend it. So uh, thank you again for watching, and catch me next week when I eat something else. Welcome to Pili's Party Taco. We have a lot of different kinds of meat. It's 11 types of meat you never find in Blomito. Mm. Yeah, maybe so. And also we have different, we try to do the more authentic we can. And we like to be friendly with you guys. Mm. We like to talk to people a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs>